Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander Tactical. Now, I've never been quiet about the fact that as far as load bearing solutions are concerned, I really do like chest rigs like this. Um, previously, I've made some content on the Helicon Tex training rig. Today, we are here today to have a look at the Helicon Tex mini competition rig. There are some subtle differences between the two, um, and you know, I guess really it's, it's down to you to decide. Maybe if you enjoy this content, then I will do some that compares the training rig against the competition rig so that you can see them side by side. Um, but yes, today we're here to look at this. So let's just turn the camera around ever so slightly to get a better look at the Helicon Tex competition rig. I nearly said training rig then for a second. Competi Helicon Tex competition rig. So this is the competition rig in its purest form. Now, in its purest form will make sense a little bit when we have a look at some of the, the additional things that you'll need to purchase for this platform. Um, now, just to give you some information, so uh, this is made from 500D Cordura. There are lots of different colours of these. Helicon Techs are the master of owning lots of different co colours. Um, so pretty much if you have a setup, then you'll probably be able to find either a flat colour or a camo that will suit your setup. This is the, um, I'm, I'm, I'm all kind of grey man today, so this is the, uh, this is the shadow grey version. Um, on the front and on the back you have uh, plenty of hook and loop on here. There's some really nice tough mesh here on the bottom just in case you get anything in here. It will help to come out. And as far as the harness system is concerned, which we will have a look at in a minute as well. So this is, this is an H harness rather than an X harness. So if you prefer an H harness over an X then, you know, it's great. On the front of the um, of the competition rig, you have some options on here. So on the left and the right, just realise I've put all of my magazines on the floor. So you have uh, some pistol magazine slots. I've tried a few pistol magazines in here. Glock mags. I've tried some high capper mags. I've tried uh, my Mark 23 mags, and they all fit perfectly in here. The smaller, thinner mags, single stack ones, like your high cappers, they do kind of rattle around a little bit, but it will still give them enough purchase that they won't kind of fly out whilst you're running. Large magazines, then, you know, yeah, they, they just fit in there really nice. So whether you want to run them on the left or the side, you could run a, a, a tool in here or the opposite on the opposite side. It, it, it doesn't really matter, or if you're going to use them both. Uh, for magazines then yes, you can do that on both sides on the front You then have two additional pockets and these are hook and loop and on the inside of these So you, you have to rip that up to get to it But then there's also additional hook on the inside So if you did want to stow away these flaps now on some of them You have it so that you have the ability to be able to remove the flaps these flaps are um, These flaps are stitched into it, so you can't actually remove them But instead if you want to I have another little kind of magazine pouch in there um, then you can fold them in like so, so that you can have things on the front here or if there's anything that you need to get into as well. The main reason that I showed you with these, with this is, so this is another, so the, the competition platform range have lots of different inserts. This is a lot more module, m modular than compared to something like the, compared to something like the training rig. The training rig is reasonably kind of a, a standard setup. Whereas with this, there were lots of these extra little pouches. So if you wanted maybe to pick up some of these, what you can do with these is where you then have that that's now been folded in there, your hook and loop is still here. These are all butterfingers today. These are all hook and loop so that you can then pass this through into here and now you have additional magazine pouches on here so you can push these in and these are more like your shooter style uh, mag, uh, mag pouches they're a little bit shorter but they're also a little bit more 
rigid or at least when your magazine's in there it's in there really nice and tight um, so you can you can completely Gucci the front of this up to how you want it to be let's just put that in my pocket here for a second now as I mentioned on the reverse of here you do have some hook and loop um, this is different to some of the other ones now a lot of the other ones will have a velcro panel that will come across the back of here so that whatever it's on it doesn't rub or cause any friction I don't know why Halicon Techs haven't done it with this and if there is one on the website and I've missed it I do apologize please point me in the right direction because I would like to pick one up but if you have anything on here or anything at the back it's just open to your shirt or whatever it is that you're wearing it doesn't have another one of those velcro patches on the back to cover it up you do have some loops here at the bottom so i suppose if you're running it this way which you probably would be doing uh, these loops will come underneath here so if you have some small carabiners that maybe you then want to attach your gloves to or I know your glasses, anything like that, then you have, there are uh, six of them across the back and then on the front here, there's two that are just a little bit more easier to access. On the side, you have uh, two webbing loops here. Of course, this is what your H system connects to, which we will have a look at as many because I haven't got this set up. I've got this set up for the full setup as such. Uh, and then the harness system itself, so, with the H system, what you have is, you'll have these that go across your shoulders, like this. Oh. These will then come round, and they will connect here. It does also come with a stabiliser strap, which connects to the bottom ones on here, and then goes round your waist. Now, as I mentioned, so this is, this is kind of, Let's call this the base unit because at this moment in time all really that we've looked at here are pistol rounds there is a section here in the back where you can then keep your rifle rounds or rifle magazines but at this stage this isn't included with this you have to pick up these as a separate option and there's a few different options for you here I've got so this is this is the this is the the triple magazine pouch that I've been running on mine that I've been testing. So depending on what rifle you have, 556, whether it's one of your old school metal ones, will fit in there, no issues whatsoever. If you're using the uh, newer 556. A K style magazines these will also fit in as well it's definitely a lot easier to do it when it is when, it, when it's on your chest or if you're running the even older 762 style magazines these will also fit in as well now I will say that these are a little bit trickier to get in mainly because of the banana shape of them and plus because you've got that lip on the inside as well when you're trying to get these out that lip can get a little bit stuck in there um, so you need to as you kind of rock it and lock it you need to rock it and lock it a little bit when you're getting these out but what happens with this is this fits inside here so i'm gonna have to take all of these magazines back out again let's take you out so on the front here, hopefully you'll see that you've got the hook and on the back here, hopefully you'll be able to see that you have the loop. Then on the inside of this, you have the opposite. Here is the hook and there is the loop. So you pushed it in. Now this is a bit of fun, family fun. And when I say that, I mean make sure that your family isn't around because there's a lot of swearing involved. Because it does fit in perfectly, but because of the hook and loop that's already in there, obviously you're going to have to try and get it in whilst not hooking it and whilst not looping it. <laughs> so let's just say for now I've got that just about right and it's all in there. So now I've got two pistol magazines, I've got my three rifle magazines behind that, ready to go how I need them. But as I say, this insert is an additional purchase. If you pick up 
the uh, if you pick up the competition rig, assuming that this is part of it, unfortunately you'll be a little bit disappointed because you have to pick this up, you can't buy, they don't come together. Now just in case you run different style magazines, so I know some of the snipers out there that run quite larger magazines, uh, unless you're running a VSR, which you can probably, you can definitely use one of these instead. These are great. If maybe you picked up three or four of these, then you could have three or four of these on the inside and you can carry, well, you can carry six VSR mags, especially if you're running the 50 round ones, which is great. Uh, so this is one of the smaller competition double pistol inserts. Uh, you then have a uh, competition two gun insert where you've got a pistol mag here on the outside and then you have two larger mags here. Now I did mention your 762 mags because these are just that extra little bit wider. If you were to pick up, again it's because I'm trying to do this when it's not in the rig, but if you picked up the two gun setup, so maybe you could have two of these on your chest and maybe you've got a couple on your hip. Um, the 762 larger magazines do fit into these a lot easier than the triple mag, the triple rifle mag ones, mainly because they're just, they're just a wider round at the end of the day, aren't they? So that is the, that is the two gun pouch. Or you then have a double rifle pouch. So again, similar to this one, whereas these are designed mainly for your 5.56, these are designed for your larger calibers. But all of these, all of these extra bits, let me bending over today, isn't it? All of these extra bits fit into the training rig itself. Now I have tried. I know uh, of a few companies, or at least I have a few different of these from different companies, um, and I have tried their inserts into these. Some of them don't fit, mainly because they're just that extra little bit wider. Um, Helicon Techs have made sure that you know this works for them. So you have the hook on this side and the loop on that side. So I have one from, who is it, what's the British company called? Warrior Assault Systems. So I tried my Warrior Assault System ones in this. You have to put it in backwards because the loop and the hook are on the opposite sides. So yes, it still works, but yes, it's a bit of a faff. Now if you want to add additional magazines to this, again, apologies for the bending over. Right, let's pick up that magazine, let's put that in the pocket. So at this moment in time, the amount of rifle magazines that you can have on this is three, unless maybe you could set something up for each of these front pockets, you could probably get a single magazine, rifle magazine, so that you could fit in here and it will then go over the top. Um, you then have these wings which give you an option for an additional magazine or rifle magazine on each side. So these fit on here. Now this is what I was on about with, uh, with the Velcro sides. So these Velcro wings fit on here like that. And then you have them at the back, but these are completely exposed at the back. I think what Helicon Tech should do is make a panel that fits across here, locks everything into position. Now I'm saying this, it's never come undone, but it's just nice to have. So that fits across there. Now the way that I do have this set up now, so when you get these, when you get these uh, side wings, um, they don't come with the um, with the Wujin buckles that you need, and that's because the Wujin buckles are already connected here. So all you have to do is take it off these these loops and put it onto these loops. So now, if I go under my armpit and connect that one. Same here on this side, under my armpit. And connect that one. So it's now in position, bending over again, sorry about that. Uh, and here is the stabilizer strap, which will then go in here like that, under and around, and here like that. 
so that we're fully set up. Where did I put that magazine? So your magazines, yes, will fit in here. So you've got three magazines across the front. You can then have a magazine on the side here or an additional magazine on the side here. Maybe you don't want to run a magazine on the side so you could have five rifle magazines through the front. You could maybe have this so you have some comms here on one side maybe a tool on the other but there's plenty that you could fit on to here to make this kind of be the rig that you want it to be but I think the important thing that I definitely want to stress with this is that if you look at picking up the Helicon Tech training rig or sorry the Helicon Tech competition rig I keep saying getting the two uh, keep getting the two mixed up when you get it it will just be this front part and the and the suspension system, the strap that goes across your shoulders. You then have to pick up your rifle insert on this. If you want this to skirt around your waist kind of quasi cummerbund style and you want to add some additional magazines to this, then these are additional extras as well. So it's just to make sure it kind of sets your expectations on what you get. If you want to run it, I guess, at its minimum kind of form, all you'll need to do is pick up the Helicon Tech competition rig and one of the rifle inserts that will go into here. So there you go, I hope that made sense. Um, I think it was important with this just to stress the differences, or at least if you prefer, if you'd like to me at a later date, I can make a piece of content that really goes down into the differences between the, uh, the competition rig that I have here and the training rig that I've made in another piece of content. And in fact, I'll leave a link here, here or wherever it goes so that you can see that, uh, you can see that training rig content. Um, but yes, it's just to stress that this is a great setup and a great platform, but it is a platform in which you need to get the rig, the chest rig, and then you definitely need to get a rifle insert for this. If you want to add to that, then you can add these additional wings as well. So there you go. Now I'll leave some links below so that you can see more from this, but I also want to do a, uh, I want to give a shout out to Military First. Military First has supported my channel both here on Moreland the Tactical and my other channel Moreland EDC for the last four or five years. Hopefully if you're in the UK, you'll know who Military First are, just in case you don't. Uh, they are one of the largest, if not the largest military and outdoor suppliers for gear, for clothing, for all of the extra peripherals and paraphernalia that go with having and living a great outdoor lifestyle. Um, they are possibly the largest supplier of Helicon Techs here in the UK, which is great mainly because if you're trying to get Helicon Techs in from Europe, from Poland at this moment in time, it's 21 euros just to have it posted to you. Whereas, you know, you don't certainly don't have to worry about that. Plus, also, if you are wanting to pick something up, I have discount code, which is MORELANDER10, which will give you 10% discount off any non-sale items. I just have to stress that. If it's something that's already in the sale, because Military First do some absolutely amazing sales, it's not an additional 10% off that. Um, it's additional 10% off any non-sale items, but, Hey, everybody loves a little bit of discount, so if you choose that, then yeah, it just gets you an extra little bit more. But I will leave some of those links below so that you can see more from Helicon Tech, so you can see more from Military First. I'll also leave some of my social media links so that you can find me here on Moreland Tactical or on my sister channel, Moorlander EDC. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay tactical. Tree stump in the way. Bloody tree stump. Jesus Christ, always in the freaking way. I think I need to put my shirt on. Favourite formats for load carrying. I've had a look previously at the Morlander mini chest rig. So what we're having a look today is at the Morlander. Did I just rebrand? Did I just rebrand something? I think I did. Now let's check that I rebranded it right in the first place. Training rig. Wazak. Maybe that should be a mole into chest trick. Give T-Rex a run for the money. I don't think I'm good as those guys. I can't sprint as well as they can. Anyway. <clears throat> Whew. It's 
raining. I'm kind of hugging a tree at the moment. Well, I'm not hugging a tree. You're hugging. Your back is to the tree because of the rain. I shall show you the rain through the form of figurative dance. That was a bit weird. Never done that before. So yeah, uh, I think this is going to go out today. I filmed it today, Saturday. I didn't get this out yesterday. Uh, so yeah, if it's Saturday, which I hope it is, I hope it's Saturday. It is. It is Saturday. My watch tells me it's Saturday, so it must be. Right, have fun, guys. I hope you've been out skirmishing and had a great day. Um, yes, see you soon.